Intensifying efforts tonight to solve the case of a woman who was murdered and dismembered. Police calling this killing one of the most disturbing in the history of the city. And thanks for joining us here at 530. I'm Mike Dardis and I'm Ashley Kirkland. Now five months later, that person is still on the loose. Family of the victim, police and the community are asking for help to solve the homicide. WLWT News 5's Brian Hamrick is live with this story. And Brian, we're hearing from the victim's family for the first time. Yeah, actually, they're calling this horrific. They're calling it uh, a chilling. And not only because the victim was murdered, but her body was dismembered, scattered in places like this clearing here off of Baltimore Avenue here in North Fairmount. Her family is saying this killer has to be caught. They've come to this specific spot. Somebody out there has some information. Handing out flyers on Lynn Street. If you see anything, let us know. Hoping to find something that can't be seen. Answers. What happened? Does anybody know what happened? It's all about what happened to Michaela Lucky. She was a great, genuine person, lovable, funny. Siobhan Childs and Verdi Lucky are Michaela's family. It's hard when somebody died, just natural causes or whatever, but something like that that's even harder because yeah. that's what's horrific yes, yes it's yes. just unbelievable yes. you can't believe somebody another human being would do another human, human being, being like that it all began november 5th someone found dismembered body parts near baltimore avenue in north fairmount then january 3rd a search team found the victim's head not far from the same spot using dna both sets of remains were eventually identified as michaela lucky but so far, no arrests. We need to come together and get this person off the streets. That's how advocates, police, Michaela's family all arrived at this point, frustrated that someone hasn't come forward with information. Somebody out there has some information. For now, they're hoping Lynn Street is an avenue to answers. Yeah, even veteran officers are calling this one of the most demented killers they've seen in the history of this city. The family says uh, the killer is still out there, and that has to end. Reporting live, Brian Hamrick, WLWT News 5. Truly disturbing. And Brian, what are we learning about the victim today? Yeah, well, the family says she was a nice young lady growing up. She grew up in the church, they say but she struggled with mental illness and they believe that helped to put her out on the streets and in this vulnerable position, Ashley. Brian here.